Are we talking about donut media today? I, I don't think so. I, I just I don't no. have the energy to, to bitch about donut media. Okay. <laughs> Were you all prepped to do it? Because like, I mean, it, it's almost like, like it's almost like he doesn't want a successful podcast. <laughs> like I'll bitch about donut media, but like mm. low hanging fruit though. Yeah, but it's, it's, no. it's accessible fruit. It's populist fruit. Also, don't you like one of their series? Like, don't you like the? Um, I do. Like the and nicer I'll, I'll rights or whatever it. it is. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk about it now though because I'm saving it. Okay. I'm saving that discussion for when it it's good for us. <laughs> the, the next time that we record, let's talk about Donut Media. I will be ready. It will be great. Um, do you want to talk about this Corvette or? <laughs> It's ugly. It's stupid. Yeah. Like, do I want to talk about it? No, but will I? Oh my god! What the? What the? There's only three pictures. There's this. There's this, and then the whole package. And they want thirteen five for it. It has two hundred thousand miles. That's what they wanted for that for that female driven C (laughs) six. You only want with a manual transmission. (laughs) It's like half of a Z06. I guess, based off of what's going it, on here, is there? It see all Z, all real Z sixes are are hard top, which which is yeah, they're the fixed roof coupes. Yeah, right. yeah, they did they they weren't they, and I, that looks like a nor that looks like a, a glass hatch Corvette. Yeah, it is. The what it says here is basically it's saying that it has a built six O instead of a an LS one, but. I mean, it looks like this. It has 200,000 miles. You could buy an actual Z06 C5 for this. Look look oh, at the yeah. price range. Look at the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, C5s are starting to to hit the bottom, I think. Or get there. Yeah, they, they're, oh, for they're, sure. they're at the bottom, for sure. C4s definitely are. I don't think you're going to see C4s go any cheaper than they are right now. Like, you can buy, like, a 92 no, to 96 C4s, for, like, under 10 C- grand. C fours have started appreciating it. Like for probably for the past five years, they've been going up. If you miss the bottom, I, that's, I think that's the Radwood effect, though, right? Like I don't think Radwood effect has hit these cars yet because they're the late nineties, man. They got early, like they've got that early styling of like they're, the rounded yeah, shit. Yeah, they're 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 in that they're in that weird halfway period where they're not the C fours, right? And, and you know they're not C six or C sevens, right? Like they're not Radwood cool. Yeah, yeah. They're not the they're not the old they're not the retro hit, and they're not the newer ones. I've never seen them as like an uninteresting car, so it's weird. Every time that C fives have been brought up in probably the last five to ten years, people always complain about Chevrolet interiors of that era, and <laughs> oh, like, they're yes. bad. like how it looks they like a bad. bar of soap. And when I look at it, all I see is three hundred fifty horsepower, cool car. Like I, just, yeah, I, right. I don't see the garbage that everybody. What else card sees. has good interior from the night from nineteen ninety nine? Like most of them look the same. European cars and, and Japanese cars definitely. Yeah. Any edge. Japanese car. Yeah. Yeah, C five well, interior is. Or should drop the ball with a nine nine six because that looks like butthole. You can see some of it here. It's it's not good. <laughs> no. the, the dash is really. It's not I good. Mean, it looks. It looks like ninety nine to me. Center console ignition. Hell yeah. It doesn't bother me. It's like, it's not good, but who gives a shit? Like, you're just trying to drive the car. Like, why are you so worried about what the dashboard looks like? I, I just... I see, I'm, I'm on the opposite opinion. I, I sometimes care more about the interior than I do exterior. Compare that to a 97 240SX. Right. I was going to say, feeds coming from the 240SX thing, where, like, if yeah. you don't have a cracked dash, right? Like, every single one <laughs> yeah, of them has winning. a cracked dash. Every single one of them. So, like, yeah. that's a 90s, 90s JDM shit, a, just like interiors or whatever. Of... I a picture of this actual interior. Okay, we don't care about this East Bear. Dash. Just, just these headlights are stupid. That's the only reason I clicked I, on this. It has like S13 East Bear headlights. headlights. Well, and I seem to remember, wasn't it a big deal when C5s came out that they didn't have uh, pop-up headlights? No, C5s did have. C6s went it's, away. Oh, that's what it was. C6s. C5, but for some reason, people thought it was cool to put those ugly headlights. I remember my, my when I was in the army, my first sergeant had a C5 with those headlights, and he had like. He had like the Corvette Racing logo on the on his gas door or something, and everyone everyone would ask him like, "Why do you have a Punisher skull on your Corvette?" <laughs> <laughs> and the headlights did not look good. 
he had he had those headlights and yeah it's not good yeah didn't know uh, didn't the fast and furious rx7 have fixed headlights or no no, no his, no, I don't think his so. was pop up it had the veil it no, it, no, it, no i did have fixed headlights take a look right here did it? i mean is that's, that it that's it i mean we could look at the actual movie hold on I thought it was yellow for some reason. Well, no, that was the Tokyo Drift one. The Tokyo Drift one just had that crazy ass body kit. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah it's like orange and black or something, right? Yeah. Just put RX seven. It's like you don't even know how to Google anything. Man, shut up. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. You can see yeah, that's not man. a pop up headlight. Well, it's gonna take a second. Where's this? Let's just watch this movie, yo. No pop ups. Yeah, yeah obviously cars. the headlights aren't yeah. popped up. Yeah. Look at the wheels on it. Yeah, they're really bad. Hey, man, they were sick when I was like 12. I like how he spent so much time learning to be a street racer, but he never learned how to like use brakes to stop at a stoplight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fantastic. And then that, film, dude, but... that dude was like playing Gran Turismo right before the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Let's keep coming up. Type S. Hell that's how, yeah. That's how like quick he is. Yours. Get that hit! Damn. <laughs> if you win, get I heard that he like kept messing up that scene, so he had, kept having like the <laughs> food. Were you? Were you? Yeah. Were yeah. You line, line. Line. Oh, Girls all pissed. Oh, are we, are we gonna see the hacker kid? Yeah, is he in this race? He's like, yeah, he's coming. Oh. Yeah. Oh like, no, Jesse. No, he's not in this. Danger to oh. manifold. Oh yeah, that's no, a, that's oh. the scene too. Can you not hear the audio? No, but the, no I no. can't hear it. Well, it, it comes up on the podcast, but we don't hear oh, it here. Oh, that aftermarket f***ing stereo. With the flip-up head unit. And then he puts, like, set stage one or something like that. Oh, hell yeah. Injecting stage one. Is this dude gonna freaking play the PlayStation? It's coming. Of NOS. <laughs> it's coming after everybody turns on their NOS, then it goes over <laughs> to the Asian kid, and he's just playing Gran Turismo in his car. <laughs> And he crashes. Uh, yeah. And he, and he, like, yeah, it's he's, like a he's horrendous crack. at it. <laughs> Don't wait. <laughs> it's just, well, took a straight and he's not even ball. driving his own car either. It was like a 3000 GT. Yeah. I got a 187 in Glendale. Cops are all over. Wait, which car is he driving in this? He's not driving the Integra. That's Ja Rule. Yeah. Oh, it's our car. No, that's, that's Don. The Cavalier? Oh. oh. No, he's got oh, a Civic. Yeah, it's a Civic. We were talking about the Asian kid. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is the longest quarter mile in the world. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah the scene takes so like long. two minutes. <laughs> and they shift so many times. They drive across the entirety of Los Angeles in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh! Let me get that juice. Let me get that fog. Too soon, Junior. Fucking <laughs> warping space and time. <laughs> yeah. God. If you haven't watched this in a while, this is a great film. <laughs> No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the end and of this road? They're going like 300 miles an hour right now. <laughs> and what's what's uh, the crazy thing about it is danger to manifold. Need shut need up, speed, laptop. <laughs> need for speed underground perfectly captured the scene. Yeah, it's sick. It yeah, just ran yeah, out of the floor. Was like, it was almost like Need for Speed Underground was the unofficial Fast and the Furious video game. I think there was Absolutely. a Fast and the Furious game, but but Need for Speed was like Need for nah. Speed Underground was the unauthorized. Yeah, it was the good like, one. It, yes, it had like this looks like the game's graphics from my memory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when you hit the when you hit the NOS, everything blurred. Yeah, at night, everything's shiny. The roads shiny. And all the cars are, and the things you can do to the cars, all the cars all are the cars look like trash. Yeah. You know what pissed me off about Need for, Need for Speed Underground is no matter how fast you were, uh -huh. these, the computers kept up with you. Oh, yeah, and then even did. if you, yeah. you were crashing into everything, they'd go slow. And yeah. so that way you could, you, you could, you know, you had a chance. Right. But if you, but if you're on point and you're like shattering records, They'll still come up on you like nothing. Like what the yeah, what dude. the hell? Yeah. And then just won like three hundred dollars. Man, yeah, and I see for some reason, like I've watched Fast and the Furious a lot, but for some reason I just like don't remember Dom's RX seven. 
<laughs> at all. Well, because it was, an, it was an afterthought. It's really right. just in this scene, I think. Like, yeah, that's it. Like, he goes and parks it on top of a garage, and, like, eh, we don't ever see it for the rest of the movie. Yeah. He, he drives it to his house to get the charger, and then that's it. Man, look at all these 2000s kids. Oh, here comes the mad scientist. Was that fun? So, this is where we're at. They talk about how he fried his piston rings or whatever. The next scene is him running from the cops in the same car. Yeah, and it's all good. Yeah. And the buster picks him up. The buster. Buster brought him back. Speaking of Corvettes, look at this fucking clapped piece of shit. It's $1,300 our best offer. No engine. Is, is the no engine trans. in there? Listen, no, no engine, no trans, no diff. All right, so listen, here's... The Chevrolet interior we're talking about? So somebody watched a lot of Cletus, and oh, they were yeah. like, Fuck yeah, I can build my own Leroy. And then this is what they started. Like, And then like they stripped a Corvette, and then their wife was like, fucking stop it, Derek. <laughs> God damn it, Derek. And then I this is what divorce. you got. Yeah, pretty much. Like, fucking stop it, Derek. Like, uh, you're, you're not Cletus McFarlane. You have two kids in the house. See them sometime. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I, mean, just I don't know. Red parts. I can I can see I can see both sides of it because you buy it if it has the title, you get the VIN, and you could make a card out of it. You know, put a engine transmission. Well, yeah, I mean, he like stripped all the goodies out, right? And it looks prepped for like anything. You, you I don't junkyard know. LS. I see a car that somebody needed a LS swap out of, and this is what's left. And I was just trying to get rid of his junk. You don't. You don't really. Yeah, that's. I can see that too, right? You don't really know what the front end looks like. I, the frame rails look straight. Frame looks straight. So, like, does it? Was it hit? What else see does he have? a car that was stolen? Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. Get the see, see, see a car that was stolen and then taken through a chop shop, and this is what's left of it. That's a good-looking Camaro. What is this? This is, this is the other car he has for sale. So I think Atlas is actually right. If you look, there's a kid in his profile picture here. <laughs> he, he was actually spot on. He's trying to be an adult. He's getting rid of whatever the hell this was. He's getting rid of his baby, the 37,000 original mile Chevy Camaro. Yeah, I mean, that's the scoop. Well, like, the guy's missing the mullet, so clearly he does not... Are uh, we at $25,000 for a third-gen F-body? Jesus. I don't know. But we'll 30, no, trailer. With an auto? 37,000 miles. Yeah, you're not going to... You're stupid if you think you're going to get that on Facebook. Put, a, put it on Bring a Trailer. If you think it's worth it, put your fucking money where your mouth is and auction it. Yeah, you're right. Put it on cars and bids. <laughs> No, I, it, I'm yeah, that's, that. a bring a trailer. <laughs> that's a bring a trailer car. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it looks pretty clean. It's got low enough miles. It looks I very like nice. That you can put out, put, put like riced out trash on cars and bids, and Doug will write a whole paragraph. Please, <laughs> like, <laughs> praising it. <laughs> what, like, like Hold you, on, you I'm going to pull that car up. <laughs> like, you'll get, get like an, an, an Itasha rap that's like, Doug DeMiro sucks and all this shit and he has to write a thing about it. <laughs> the yeah. girl on your car is pretty hot. Uh, There's that <laughs> Jetta. <laughs> yeah, he had to write all something nice about Jetta. this thing. This piece of <laughs> this shit. This piece of shit. This 2004 GLI with like a wide body kit. Just, this is... Look, 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 look how... Bad that looks in the tangle. That's so, hilarious. If any of us ever saw this driving down the street, the reaction would be, oh, gross. But Doug yeah, DeMiro, disgust. Doug DeMiro, the, the champion of car reviews and I don't know, just it's Doug DeMiro. And he had to say, as modified cars go, this is about as extreme as it gets. We've tried to list the modifications in this auction, but a document in the photo gallery more thoroughly explains oh, everything. Oh my God. Do you know what this is? More info in pics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> this is certainly an impressive build with what must be considerable time and effort put in to get this car in its current state. And it's likely the most highly modified Mark IV Jetta in existence. <laughs> it's certainly a head turner inside, outside, and under the hood. He had to write something nice about this because he needed this guy's business. This is depressing <laughs> to know that Doug is doing this. Can yeah, you imagine no. if Mr. Regular ran a f***ing auction site, like how this would go? <laughs> it 
it would just be fart noises for the entire paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the paragraph would be just him talking about his, this morning's bowel movement. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. The car. official, the official car of yiffing. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah. We got, uh, well, we got another. Oh corner. my god! Yeah, I saw some projects, and I figured, you know, here we are. What? What? All right, so it's a 2002 Corvette. It's a fake price, and lost interest in the project as I have many other projects going on. Interested in trading for a '69 Camaro, 2002 Corvette, 34,000 original miles. You and me both, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why oh, would yeah. you do this to a thirty-four thousand mile Corvette? Yeah, what? This is seemed like a good idea you? at the time. This dude watched a lot of Cletus videos too. <laughs> these just, these guys are just all Cletus fans. And... No, yeah. not for sure. You see, the, the here's, here's, the thing, here's the thing about Corvettes: you can leave them stock, and they're fine. Yeah, yeah. But... I mean, that's all there is to say. Yeah, yeah, but yeah no, like, like, what are we doing this for? <laughs> Nick is right. <laughs> My Camaro, you're done. My Corvette, you're done. You think he's selling the other project behind it? There's like a C6 that's torn apart, also. Yeah, and there's a bunch of black mold too. Is he selling that? Does that come with it? <laughs> All right, moving on. F this. Yeah, that's a piece of. <laughs> shit. That's kind of. And I was gonna say, it looks like it has tractor tires. Oh, yeah, tractor yeah. tires on this. Southern Comfort yeah. on that windshield, so you know what they were drinking when they built it. Yeah. 1990 Bronco on 40s. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I got the perfect sound effects for this. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the first picture, I was like, it looks cool, but no, it's a piece of shit. Yeah, it gets worse. It's got like a <laughs> homemade snorkel made out of PVC pipe. And is, and is that like and to keep what? the chickens back there? Yeah, it's like a animal it's control. girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, it's there's, moldy. This is straight mold growing here. Yeah. It's gotta be moldy. Look at there's, there's one a, thing. One thing, one thing comes to mind looking at this. Da na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got copyright struck for that last episode. <laughs> George Thurgood did, did you not really, appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Did you have to like re-upload or something? No, they just if it were ever to be able to be monetized, we can't. Oh, okay. it, it all goes to the <laughs> George Thorogood estate instead. <laughs> that intro went on for like a good thirty seconds. I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> That's good on the cap from that one. <laughs> but it was thick though. Yeah, I liked it. And what this is? This vehicle is paid off. I I would hope. <laughs> is that what it's I don't know. Right there, fuel type gasoline. This vehicle is paid off. Oh, nice. Why do they have this? Like, you can set a thing for whether or not it has a lean. Yeah. Yeah. But nobody can figure out the auto or manual transmission thing or how to enter <laughs> in the mileage or price properly. This is such an ass website. <laughs> this is a weird thing man it looks like yeah he was like capturing cats or something with it or like you, you see or a something. lot of that for, no yeah. that's, that's like a dog cage you see a lot of that for like hound dogs oh okay oh, oh you're right, right you're right sense. you're right i got a little experience there yeah yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, this one's shit too we're moving on yep we have honda acties oh for fuck's sake <laughs> oh, but the price is on point yep. look at the f that yeah Twenty five fifty. You cannot import one cheaper than that. You got to buy it. That's a why. That looks better though. Runs and drives just fine, but is heavily rusted. Change the oil and spark plugs will come without title, but will have import papers. Prices firm as AC systems sell for a thousand dollars, and engines and transmissions are eight hundred dollars. Also, the four wheel drive drivetrain is worth a decent amount as well. So, is this cheap because it doesn't have a title? I. Yeah, that's because gotta be it. This was right this next to another to be, one. He has Look to be assuming things. either they imported it wrong or he's assuming they can't title it properly. But if you have the import paperwork, you should be able to do it. If you have a deer lease or if you have a farm, that is a must buy. You can't import one cheaper than that. Hmm. Yeah. I, I I can't imagine you can get anything close that's four wheel drive. Now, I clicked Imported on this one. Because right next to it, 
So this one was twenty five fifty. Doesn't even look that rusty. It looks a little but, rusty. Yeah. Like there's some bubbles and stuff. But I mean, yeah, it doesn't look that yeah. bad for a twenty five hundred dollar car. But that's yeah, but see, right we're right on the bed. That's that's heavy duty fucking metal. Yeah, yeah, you'll make money on this car. Like you would buy this for the purposes of business. Yeah, because look at this. This one's twenty five fifty, eighty one thousand miles. Right next to it in the daily deals was this. Nineteen ninety five. Seventy five hundred. And it's sold. It's sold already. For seventy five hundred dollars, yeah, but it's got a Florida title. <laughs> I've heard you could register a horse in Florida, so that's <laughs> not surprising. Yeah, it means basically <laughs> nothing that has a Florida title. <laughs> but yeah, the the price on these is all over the place, and that's all. Uh, that's all I got. I, don't, this. I, don't, I just, I, it's a K truck, right? And we talked about this in the last podcast about K. Like they're sweet, all right. We get it, but like. This so one goes out to you, dude, in the Discord. It's a f***ing acty. I'm over it. <laughs> Pastor Nick. Yeah, sorry, Pastor Nick. I don't know. You I like the just, van you know a lot what? more. You can, when this comes out, you can just DM me, and I'll just spew a bunch of s*** into your DMs, too. I'll tell you the same damn thing. <laughs> I want to see some kind of lifted off-road acty. There Let's are some. They make them. Yeah. It happens. Uh... This guy, oh, never mind. Hey, it's Jimmy Oaks. <laughs> yeah. What's he up to? It's I, no, I can't remember if that was an acty or not that he lifted, but I was going to say Jimmy the Oaks. The green one it. looks sick. Put lifted, put lifted bongo. Well, and like, you don't even have to do much to lift them. You just put like bigger tires on them because they're already yeah. clearance. What am I looking for here, man? Bongo. <laughs> what the fuck's a bongo? The drums? A bongo is, is it's like an acty. Look at that girl pooping. <laughs> no. Oh, Pastor Nick came in. He's pissed now. Yeah. <laughs> I hear what I said. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I know I've seen a monster truck acty before. This is as good as it's going to get. That's the idea. Uh, yeah. With a portal act on? So this is what? CGI? No? No. That looks fake, dude. The shot. It's RC. Is it? <laughs> no. Can we see the goddamn truck? Oh, I think it had gear reducers on the fucking wheels. Yeah, it's a portal axle. That's like, it's like portal axles are like. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it says it. Portal axle. Yep. Yeah, they're like baller off-road axles. Although yeah, that that's one's that's just like clean. legit shit. Mad clearance. <laughs> it's just so little. It's so cute. It looks, it looks like fun a, as hell. It looks like a rhinoceros beetle. I mean, yeah, they're sick, because I don't think those are super wide, right? Like, you could take those no. on a RV trail. Oh, hell yeah. Like, they can't be any wider than a side-by-side. -side. Sure. Flex. You could take it on a fucking ATV trail. Yeah. But that's, like, the only benefit, right? The size? Like, what is better about this than a $5,000 Jeep? Um... I'm just been yeah, I'm nothing, wondering. right? Well, the Jeep's got stronger <laughs> axles. That's, yeah. that's it. I'd rather have, I'd rather have an Acti. If I mean, yeah, but that's because you're like this you're a JDM FJ? boy, right? I mean, it's not for any like uh, real. It's, I mean, it's got good articulation and bump stops and everything like that. Like, I see nothing wrong with their suspension setup from like a tech, like a tech standpoint, right? Like, that's a stout little setup. It's just hilariously small axles. That's all. I'm like, it's an exo kit. Like, this thing's probably so light you could roll it over and like four of your buddies could get over there and just roll it back over. Yeah, you don't even, you don't even need a winch. No, well, and that's it too, right? Speed. It's not necessarily even power, right? You need torque. Like, do those little motors make enough torque to get you over anything? Well, I guess the lightweight might help there. I don't know, man. It's cool. I'd rather I'm not saying it's not. Day. It's just like, okay, this is cool. You know what? If you want to show me more acty content, show me more <laughs> acty content that looks like this. I haven't this seen versus, like this yet. Look at the little dry shaft going nuts. This versus Cherokee XJ. Oh, I take a Cherokee. Yeah. Oh yeah, XJ is all that. 
If it was nice. Probably be the if same it was a cost, nice Cherokee. Just even if it was rusted. <laughs> no, no, no. I would take I would take I would take a nice acty over a rusty Cherokee. But why? For what purpose other than With the for memes. status? It's, it's, it's just a little cooler. It's a little bit cooler. I'd love to have a guy at cars and coffee. I'd love to have a nice Cherokee, but there's no more nice Cherokees, and that's that's it. They, that's Cher- facts. Cherokees are like two forty SXs. That's facts. You're the JDM guy at Cars and Coffee. That's what this is. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, but I'm not. Gonna, who cares? All right. It's it's a cooler car to me. That's fair, but it's just yeah. it's a cool factor thing. There's there's no practical reason for this over no. Cherokee. No. Okay. If it, 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 I, I mean, but you have you're 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 dismissing my caveat. I'd like a nice Cherokee over an Acty, but if it was a shit Cherokee, I would take the Acty. Yeah, no, okay. I mean, I think that's fair. You'll probably find a cleaner Acty than you would a Cherokee. Yeah, hundred percent. Word. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, make wee wee real quick. I clicked on this green S two thousand, but really, who gives a fuck? Oh God. Oh my god. This it's just off my screen. Yeah, well, let's wait for Net Gear. I mean, like, the body kit's wild. Yeah. He's gonna come in here and say, what the, <laughs> f- the way you said, like, yeah, it's wild. That's All the right. thing about this kind of stuff is, like, I always want to look at it, but then there's nothing really to say that hasn't already been said. This looks like shit. Yeah. This sucks. <laughs> People who like this are really <laughs> shit. There's nothing else to say about it. Uh, you, it the color is yeah. nice. I like the color. Color's cool. It reminds me of um, that grabber lime on the new Mustangs. Yeah. What's that Mustang down there on the bottom middle of your screen? Uh, some S197. Is that a, like oh, a 20 grand stock color? It's not a stock color, right? Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's that's dank. Yeah, it's kind of cool. No, that's a cool color. That might be grabber lime, actually. I, it's not, but. That's cool. That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that grabber. Sublime. 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 Neat. Neat. Yeah, that's, that's a cool color. I, I that. agree. White neat. Dodge has a similar one called Go Green. Go Green. That's very green. It's exceptionally green. I know. I want to love it. You hit that link in Discord. Which? The cars and bids? This, this fucking. If this thing, that imagine Ooh, your house boat. is on fire in this show. Like, <laughs> what? 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 Just, just what? What kind of? What this kind of like, do you think that has? Just think about like it. Looks like a toy set. This Here view looks like toys. Literally. What is this toys. for? <laughs> this is just it's for like parades, a, right? Motherfucker, that's an electric seating set. <laughs> He's putting it in the water. This this oh, is yeah. for the Shriners. You can't tell me it's not. <laughs> or midget. <laughs> okay, do you think there's a picture in here of the boat actually in the water? There's another hundred pictures to go through. Oh my god. Uh, pass. No, I don't think there is. Pray to God. Pray to God it's in the water. I don't think it's gonna be. Somebody's really stoked about their active Did fire you truck. see the little steering wheel of the boat? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Look at it. It's like on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. Oh. Is this like a bumper yeah. boat? Like this looks like something from Six Flags. Yeah, it looks like it's got it. I'm pretty sure this whole thing is a model set, just taken with clever <laughs> cameras. I'm There's telling you, it's a it's a fucking Lego City set. <laughs> All right, what is this? Is this the coolest thing we've ever listed? Let's see Doug's take. No, Doug. No, it is not. Nope. Does he have to actually say something on everything? He pretty much yeah. does, yeah. Yeah, I think he does. Yep. yep, and he's gonna say something about the Baja. He's gonna get tired of that real quick. He's gonna say... Oh, I'm sure he's I probably mean, got interns by now, come on. Are you putting the Baja here or, or bad? Yeah, on Cars and Bits. Hell yeah. He's, he's gonna say, I like bad Bajas, that's my f***ing problem. <laughs> that's Mercury right. four-stroke with whole <laughs> recoil start. You don't even have electric start on that little boat. You gotta pull a rope. It doesn't even explain why this exists, though. Like, there's nothing in here about yeah. why this happened. It's just, yeah, it's it's a fire truck and a miniature boat. Why do you have to fight a fire on the water? 
Is the water on fire? I don't, I don't, I'm not. Maybe it's for boat fires. Does it have a little pump? Is that what this is on the front? And why is it the fire department? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for this episode of Collect Car Feed Podcast. Thanks to our sponsors, H Genuine. That's H Genuine.com. Use offer code FEED at checkout for a special offer. And Outworld Systems for all your refurbished electronic needs. OutworldSystems.com. Links are in the description. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next one.